So at the minute we're halfway through the season at um, Arsenal Ladies, so as not a lot of people know that uh, women's football and WSL run throughout the summer. So obviously the Olympics is going uh, at the minute, so we're on a, a mid-season break at the minute, so having a bit of time ho at home, home in Plymouth with the family. So um, yeah, so still training at home using the, the Marjans facilities to, to use the gym pretty much every day, which is amazing to be able to come down here and just use the gym whenever I want. So. But yeah, I'm having a bit of a break and spending some time at home. I've been in the, the England setup since I was about 13. I've, I've been through every single age group. I'm now kind of in the, the borderline of the seniors. I got my first England senior cap last year. I've recently got a call up to the next um, England camp, which is next week. So looking forward to that, obviously. That's why I need to keep fit as well, keep training hard. So like I said, Stan's letting me use the gym as well, which is I'm really grateful for. But um, no, I've uh, been in the England squad for a long time now. and just trying to get my way into the senior team and get a consistent place there. When I was at um, Marjan and Bath, it was about two years ago now, I studied uh, applied sports science for coaching. And I was something I was really interested in because I'm, I'm really interested in uh, strength conditioning and the science side of like, football and just sport in general. So I think that's really helped me in terms of knowing my body and knowing what other people expect of me in terms of like training and training loads and what it can do to me in terms of recovery as well. So I think that's really helped me in, to be a bit more professional with football and take it a lot more serious. My time margins definitely helped me prepare for my for football. Like I said, I know a lot more about obviously sports science. I'm graduating with it, but um, I think it's just helped me as well to be a bit more like independent. I mean, going to uni. I mean, I still lived at home, but a bit more independent in terms of have, having to balance my life with work, social life, and football. So to maintain, to know for, to know that I have that to fall back on when I do finish playing football, because obviously. Playing football is not forever, especially being a female athlete as well. So to know that I have that when I do finish playing football is a blessing in disguise as well as something to fall back on. I love the sports centre. I mean, I think every single time I come back, it's something different. So when I was first here, I think the, the 3G was sand-based. Now it's that amazing brand new 3G. I think every time I come back and use the gym, it's got brand new facilities in there. And I think it's up there with the, the best gyms that I've, I've probably used.